on June 9th, 2021. Rapper Pooh Shiesty was arrested for his involvement in the at a Miami strip club. However, shortly after he was detained, another charge was brought up against him regarding a at Landon Hotel in Bay Harbor. In no time, Shiesty's misdemeanor charge turned into a felony, and he was looking to spend 10 years in prison. Now, Shiesty has been sentenced, and from the looks of it, he would be locked up for a really long time. Who Shiesty arrested. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Lantrell Darnell Williams, also known as famous Memphis rapper Pooh Shiesty, has been behind bars since June 9th, 2021. Arrest involving charges over a shing at a Miami strip club. Although the charges from that fateful night were dropped, Pooh Shiesty was still detained as he was indicted in the Landon Hotel case weeks later and was ordered to be held without bail. According to the criminal complaint by Miami-Dade FBI detective Elio Garcia, Shiesty alongside Jaden Darosa and Bobby Brown went to the Landon Hotel in Bay Harbor Islands, Florida in October to purchase high-end athletic sneakers and the deal, however, went south as were fired. Here's a breakdown of how things played out. The prosecutors alleged that Pooh Shiesty drove the rented McLaren to the hotel the day of the alleged to purchase and a pair of high-end athletic sneakers. They also claimed that Pooh Shiesty accepted a bag of and examined a pair of sneakers before he pulled out a Draco subcompact weapon and fired, hitting the alleged victim in the buttocks. Pooh Shiesty's team claimed that he had rented the McLaren he came in from one of the victims, and they wanted to negotiate the car's rental as well. But during the transaction, Shiesty and Brown the men. While one of the men was shot in the hip, the other was shot in the butt, according to the court documents. The FBI said surveillance footage captured the and after law enforcement spoke with the victims, they identified one of the suspects as Shiesty. After the shots were fired, Shiesty and his friends drove off from the scene. However, as Shiesty drove off from the scene, a Louis Vuitton bag stuffed with $40,912 in cash fell out of the driver's seat of the McLaren. Investigators said they linked the cash to Williams by matching the full serial number on one of the recovered bills to a $100 bill flashed on Pooh Shiesty's Instagram account days before the alleged robbery. The arrest report mentioned that one of the victims claimed to have met the rapper at the location to sell him a pair of Air Jordan 4 shoes. According to the first victim, they met with Pooh Shiesty to sell him and get paid for a lime green McLaren he took on rent. The victim said he was talking to Shiesty in his car when two men stepped out of another vehicle and walked toward them with Shiesty then asked him to get out of the car and that's how he got in the back. The other victim said he was heading toward his car when he heard two and fell to the ground. He turned back and saw Pooh Shiesty on the driver's seat, who was pointing a rifle at him. As the trial developed, Pooh Shiesty pled that he was, in fact, guilty, and he fired a at the victims. Insider reports claimed that Shiesty had no choice but to plead guilty, as he was on the verge of facing an eight-year prison sentence. Pooh Shiesty pleads guilty. As earlier said, Pooh Shiesty was facing a previous charge before the charges of the Bay Harbor Hotel were brought against him. He was accused of a security guard at a nightclub. Although his lawyers argued that it was an accidental that was supposed to hit the ground. You know, like, hey, I'm about to do something or something to demonstrate some kind of intent other than uh, an accidental discharge. It doesn't appear that there was, uh, that there was anything that would have uh, prompted uh, some sort of intent from the, uh, from the defendant. However, Shiesty was able to beat the felony charge in Miami-Dade County related to the May 2021 of a security guard at the King of Diamonds strip club. The case was reportedly closed with a no-action designation. However, before the case was dropped against Shiesty, he faced a tougher battle with his Bay Harbor case where he had to prove guilty. Shiesty pleaded guilty to a single firearms conspiracy charge stemming from an alleged robbery at a Bay Harbor hotel in October 2020. A copy of the deal filed on Tuesday, January 4th, 2022, in Miami Federal Court stated that Shiesty copped to one charge of conspiracy to possess a firearm in furtherance of violent and trafficking crimes. In return, prosecutors agreed to drop three other counts, including a more serious charge that Shiesty fired the weapon himself. The terms of the deal stated that the prosecutors would only seek 97 months in prison for Pooh Shiesty. However, if he was convicted of all four counts, he would have faced a far longer sentence. The federal charge of firing a 
in furtherance of a crime of violation on its own carries a minimum 10-year sentence. At the time Pooh Shiesty pleaded guilty, it was said that the 97 months deal wasn't binding on the judge who would sentence him, and they weren't wrong. As much as the prosecutors believed that the judge would hand Shiesty a harsher sentence, they were brought down from their high horses when the judge gave Shiesty an even lesser sentence on April 20th, 2022. Pooh Shiesty sentenced. On April 20th, 2022, rapper Boo Shiesty was sentenced to five years and three months in prison, amounting to a total of 63 months. Shiesty's sentence came as a result of his conspiracy conviction linked to a confrontation outside a Florida hotel in October 2020 that ended with a man in the buttocks. Pooh Shiesty pleaded guilty to federal charges. As part of the plea deal, the rapper will not face life in prison for allegedly a man in Florida. Authorities say Shiesty was part of a group that two people during a robbery in South Florida back in 2020. Prosecutors also say he shot a security guard at a Miami strip club last May. According to reports, Shiesty was happy with a decision from U.S. District Judge Kevin Michael Moore in Miami federal court considering he had reached a plea deal with federal prosecutors that allowed for a sentence of up to eight years and one month in prison, his lawyer said. Cohen revealed in an interview that certainly no one would be happy to be in prison. However, given their case, they were happy that the judge listened to their argument and they were quite happy with the decision of the court. At the sentencing hearing that lasted about two hours Wednesday, Cohen argued that his client, Pooh Shiesty, wasn't the one who fired the weapon in the botched Florida deal outside the Landon Hotel in Bay Harbor Islands, Florida on October 9th, 2020. He also disputed the prosecution theory that Williams was involved in a robbery. In court filings, he said his client was trying to purchase a minor amount of liquid for personal use from someone he knew. The government wants this court to believe Mr. Williams with a net worth of $3,449,446, planned a robbery, then committed a robbery, and then a known dealer who knew him well and could easily identify him. All over a few hundred dollar deal for personal use while he was driving a lime green McLaren that he rented from the alleged victim, he argued in his paperwork. He went on to argue that it was illogical for Pooh Shiesty, with a net worth of over $3 million, a duffel bag filled with over $40,000 in cash, as well as driving a vehicle valued at over $200,000, to stage a robbery over something as minute as a bottle of liquid with a retail value of a few hundred dollars. He also argued that it was more ridiculous since any damage that may have been done to the McLaren he was driving during the argument would have cost thousands of dollars to repair. In a sentencing memo filed on April 19th, Cohen argued for a lower sentence citing his client's young age and rough childhood. He told the court that Bushaisty had accepted responsibility for his involvement in the offense that was committed and that he was ready to change. Shiesty's lawyer also added that Bushaisty hoped to return to his family family to provide financial assistance for them and help the youth of his community. Cohen went on to urge the court to consider Shiesty's life as a life worth saving. As a means to convince the court in his memo, Cohen told the court that Pooh Shiesty's father was incarcerated while he was a child and he was away for most of his formative years. According to him, Shiesty had visited his dad in prison when he was 10 years old and he described the experience as scary. He also claimed that Pooh Shiesty also witnessed his mother being physically abused by her long-term boyfriend Friend, lost multiple friends to gun violence and was twice himself as a teenager, once in a drive-by when he was 14 and again when he was in the arm while attending a local police and community basketball game at the age of 17. There were few, if any, positive influences during Mr. Williams' formative years. He began abusing at 12 and quickly became a daily user, Cohen wrote. Mr. Williams' transition from extreme poverty to successful and wealthy musician was almost immediate and certainly life-changing. Life after sentencing. Ujaisi may have got a lengthy sentence, but compared to the proposed eight year sentence the prosecutors had prepared for him, he was quite happy with the turnout of events. Now that the sentencing and legal drama is finalized, Pushaisti fired off a message from federal prison that was posted to his Twitter account on Thursday, April 21st, where he thanked his fans for their support and teased music on the way for later in April. He wrote, The biggest, I just want to thank all my loved ones, supporters, and fans for holding me down during these hard times. The 22 year old 
Road Road. I wish I could be coming home to y'all today, but this could have been way worse. I will be back sooner than y'all think, but meantime, new music drop next week. Brr. The judge granted Pushaisty time served for the year he's already spent incarcerated, and he could be released after three and a half more years with good behavior. After being sentenced to five years in prison and his federal gun possession case now behind him, Pushaisty has turned his focus back to his career from behind bars. The 1017 Records rapper's team announced plans for a second deluxe edition that was released on Friday, April 22nd, featuring eight new tracks on Shiesty Season Certified. The Platinum Certified project will arrive on Friday, April 29th, and see guest appearances from Gucci Mane, Big 30, Big Scar, Lil Uzi Vert, ESTG, and 42 Doug. It's no surprise that Gucci Mane would be appearing on the project. The 1017 Records boss has been a huge help to Pooh Shiesty since the start of his career, and even after he got entangled in his legal drama, insider reports claim that Gucci Mane has been a huge support to Pooh Shiesty. In fact, he was present in court on the day that Pooh Shiesty was sentenced. In a detailed post about the events that took place during the sentencing, his lawyer went on to acknowledge the people present during the case, including several 1017 records execs. Shiesty is also teaming up with the Smileness co-founder, Waheed Zai, for an exclusive NFT collection dropping on April 27th. According to Zai, there will be 250 pieces featuring four different Shiesty Season album covers, with the one of one of the project's artwork auctioned off. Customers will also receive a t-shirt and Pooh Shiesty signature ski mask with their purchase. The auction winner of the one of one will be gifted a personalized platinum plaque as well. In a brief interview with Complex, Waheed Zai explained how the project had become a significant moment in his artistic career. According to Waheed, he took a leap of faith to build something he had never done before, and Pooh Shiesty and his team believed in him. He added that it was an opportunity he would never take for granted. Waheed went on to talk about how he has now created his own world with Pooh's album going platinum and me building my own name in the world via my NFT project, it felt inevitable to come together to help highlight and celebrate our growth as artists over the past year. Which birth smiles, ex Shiesty season. Although he may be locked up behind bars, Pooh Shiesty has promised his fans to do his best to make sure they get the best music from him. According to Shiesty, they can keep him locked up, but they can never keep his talent locked up.